And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Getting in to our uh, Toxic Factory series here. Well, we will eventually be down in the Toxic Factory, but uh, I need to get some tech going first. So uh, I did pretty it up down in the lithium area, and uh, I do need another lift uh, for that, because uh, I don't want to die. Um... And let's see, we have enough, I think, for Arthur's solar panel. Let's craft that. And his battery core is in our uh, suit upgrade, which is S, by the way. Uh, once you open your inventory, just hit S. Uh, it frees up, you know, it frees up a few slots. Not, not many, but, en but enough. So we are going to take him and put you right there. So now... Uh, uh, he will be able to charge a lot faster in the sun, which just which just set. So yeah, eventually he'll charge fast in the sun. Uh, but for now, let's get some more iron. I've got a whole thing of lithium right here going. We need to figure out where we're going to have our smelting, uh, what level we're going to be at, and everything. Uh, and I want to be minus forty is the absolute limit. I want to be a little above that, just a little. So like minus thirty-five, I think is. Uh, I don't know, round number, I don't know what, what you'd call it, but minus 35. So I would like to go down to minus 35. So I'm going to watch my time here. Oh, oh. I think this it's this lower one right here. I'm going to go up, back up to here. So 39... So minus 35, right here. I want this to be my main floor. It's going to be all underground, the whole base. And I'm going to come up a little bit. Once I get my excavator, I will excavate out probably a height of 10 in here. Probably. Uh, I don't want to go any more than 10 because I might run into... I might pop into a, a surface cave. Uh, or a, a depression or a valley or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, I, I want to avoid that if possible. Uh, but in here, we got quite a lot of light coming from that torch, so it, it's lighting us all up. So yeah, I want to put my all my smelting down on this level. And then the bars, after they're smelted, will all head down to the toxic caves. And that is going to be that. So it would be nice to find some coal down here as well. That way I can start the research lab and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to put these on the floor for now until I get my final height. I'm getting a little bit of lag going here. I wonder why that is. Trying to, trying to bust out the macro here. A little mackerel on my mouse digs really, really fast. Although it makes it tough. Ooh, there's something back there. Is it coal? I, yeah, I think that there's a big coal vein on the surface that might extend down to here. No, that's rough hewn rock. Oh, that's 0.96 million. Well, that's a lot. So, that's good. And then I just need the XY coordinates. Do I have my... I think I can build my... My GPS tool. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do that right now. That's a good idea. Thanks me for that idea. Okay, 64, um, where's my smelter, free 40, let me make sure that's empty, uh, everybody's got power, okay, so, GPS, uh, tool, yeah, 16 lithium, beautiful, and it's a suit upgrade, Thank you, the mod author, for making that a suit upgrade. Ooh, I've even got a pristine gland. I don't know where, 
where I picked that up. That's awesome, though. One pristine gland down, three to go uh, for the coal enricher. Uh, right here. I've already found the organic rock. Oh, no, only one more pristine gland. Ooh. Ah, uh, the macerator, though. That's, 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 those are a nightmare to craft. Um, let's see. Not really much else to do down up here. Now that I have a GPS tool, though, I can take note of where my tin is. Also, tin is roughly, uh, I'm going to write these down. I've got a bunch of sticky notes around, so I'm going to write them down. Okay, so this is, so tin is roughly minus 20, uh, minus 37. Okay, and I can find the best place to, to pull that ore. And the awesome copper vein actually extends quite a ways down, um, like, quite a ways so I'll probably I'll probably find it when I dig with the excavator uh, but for now I want to find kind of where where the limit is uh, right over I think right over here is probably see how it cuts off right there see how it absolutely cuts off that's the zero 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 thing 000 really messes with ore generation. So, like right in here somewhere. Uh, so, copper uh, is, let's see, negative 8 and 11. Okay. Iron is going to have to come up, but uh, the other ores, these two need to come down. I'll probably, you know, I could easily find tin and copper. That's some of the most abundant ore in the map. Oh, there we go. Back to what I was doing. So yeah, there's some coal down here, which is good because if we want py pyrothermic generators, we are gonna want a good coal source. So a million coal is a phenomenal coal source. Okay, so there's the coal. So I need to dig my way, now that I've got a decent area carved out down here. Uh, let's see. Negative 8 and 11. Okay, I went the wrong direction when my dig. Oh, negative 8. 11 this way so yeah I went the wrong direction uh, for copper 10 is minus 20 minus 37 uh, so minus 20 minus 37 so this is the direction of yeah this is this is the direction of the tin so let me dig to the location Ooh, look at that, a little underground cave. Nice. Uh, 36, 37, right here. Oh, there's a <laughs> there's copper right here. Look at that, 40 million copper. Look at that vein. Okay, so if copper is right here, and that's a good vein, uh, I might just do tin and copper from over here. I mean, theoretically, I could do both right here. Um, so copper or tin, the tin vein actually goes up. There it is. Right there. It wasn't even that far up. So tin right there. Good to go. And we have copper right nearby. So 
So this tin can come down and get smelted and this copper, I'm gonna have to find a good access point away from the tin. But yeah, I think this will work. Cause that is a very decent copper vein. I don't, and that prevents me from having to really dig very far to find it, which is nice as well. Let's find the rest of it. There it is. There it is. Come out of hiding, Mr. Copper. That is a very good vein right there. And these aren't going away because they're right next to these blocks here. I think. And right next to these blocks. Or not. Why aren't those going away? Those plants should go away. And I don't know why they're not. Maybe if I reload the game? I'm not sure. Let's see the extents of that tin and see if there's another location I could possibly find it. Oh no, it's essentially straight ahead, straight up. And even this deep, we don't have to worry about Minox spawning on conveyor belts. And just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to put a, a few conveyor belts down here just, just as a test. Because I want to make sure we don't get any Minox down here. Alright. Yeah, those are not going away. Those should have gone away. So, we're just going to have to build right over the top of them. So, like, there, there, there we go. I got rid of them. Good amount of copper. It looks like it extends over here a little bit. Uh, which will allow me to build a smelter out this direction and then the tin can come down and smelt out this direction and I'm gonna have huge huge smelting operations up on this level it's because we're gonna have to be transferring the the, uh, the finished bars uh, as well um, deeper so I want to make sure we have lots and lots of smelting so we're gonna go a little crazy with our smelting in this game. I mean, last at last series it was rush mode, and I only had two smelters for every type of ore. And this one, oh, we're gonna go nuts. I want lots and lots of ore. Okay, so let's let's dig the rest out through here. I'm, getting a, I'm accumulating a lot of rock and garbage and stuff, which I will use later on to make ourselves some construction paste. And that will go, that will help us build a little nicer structure. You know, we're going to have some good structures in this one too. They're going to be all underground, so... And of course we don't really have a whole lot of options when it comes to different shapes but uh, as far as blocky structures go I'm gonna try my best so yeah oh that green has its own little glow doesn't it I wonder if we get rid of that if we get rid of the all the green stuff Sort of. Let's. No, wrong super build. Okay. Middle click. I'll get rid of all the things. Oh, it doesn't look like. Doesn't look like. Doesn't look as nasty as it did. 
Uh, we got a couple more plants there to get rid of. There we go. So we have a massive copper vein and a decent tin vein to tap. And I'm sure if we do a colored ore, yeah, we have a ton of tin around. There's, look at the copper. Yeah, that's copper right there. Holy moly. I didn't really need to find copper. It was right here. I wonder how big that vein is. Is that part of the same vein that we're mining above? Or is that just another new huge copper vein? If I could find it. There it is. Yeah, copper vein. How big is this bad boy? 51 million. Good lord. So much copper. That is a 51 million copper vein right there. And it's smack in the middle of my little area here. So I'm going to have to come out here and dig this way. Although we're going to run into coal coming through here. This is kind of the hazard of an underground base is you start running into veins of ore that are very difficult to get rid of or very sort of disheartening when you have to get rid of them because it's like, oh, blowing through a destroying a 51 million copper vein just hurts the soul all right so i do want to clear out the rest of this give myself ample space yeah i'm getting some lag issues with my game right now which is weird i think it probably had to do with all after scanning those veins all the the memory it was taking yeah here's the zero 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 thing right here we got a wall of ore but it gives you a, a decent spot to sort of nestle and snuggle right up to it i'm gonna have to find a way to get around this copper because our iron and our lithium are gonna have to come up here as well and granted, since we're going to be underground smelting, they don't have to come up as far than they would normally would. But, I mean, iron, I think... I'm going to, I'm going to put a couple uh, conveyors down in iron and make sure the Minox don't spawn down there. Uh, they might. Minus 64, they might. Um, I believe... I believe Minox don't spawn until uh, minus 80 in normal mobs but i could be mistaken it could be minus 64. so i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna put down a couple a couple here just to be safe as well so here i dug this out here and prettied it up flattened it out it, it you know i was going a little deeper but i didn't need to here's the the exact level that lithium can spawn at, you can see it just stops. So, minus, what is that? It starts at minus 122, I believe. So I'm going to grab the lithium that's in there. I want to smelt a good amount of lithium and iron before I continue smelting the copper and the tin. Because we're going to need so much copper and tin. Uh, I really, really want a lot of that stuff. So I'm going to grab this, grab that. Fill that baby back up with power. And uh, go up to the surface and drop off the ore. So yeah, now we have underground areas where we can grab some tin and copper and there's so much copper oh i won't i won't be wanting for copper like for a long long time there we go some good good iron and good lithium uh and we're going to need some lithium for you know power storage but we don't use too much of it. Uh, it's only two for these, and then for these, uh, we would need uh, eight. 
total lithium for uh, Mark II power storage. So not too bad. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not too bad. And so far, haven't disturbed the surface really at all. Um, it's still pretty much the exact same as it was, except for the little little divots that I had to make. Oh, and I go fall down the pit there. This would also be a good spot for a slime trap. That way I wouldn't have to dig out any of the surface. I could could use this little area right here, although they would fall down. If they came through here, they would fall down there, go up, and then fall down again. And I would have to I would have to make a drop off somewhere. I would have to still go down a little bit further, but it it could work because they wouldn't get stuck here. They would just fall down, get a little injured and then go up and then fall back down again. It's just the the tubes, these glow tubes really become a problem. I did it again. Keep falling down the hole there. All right. And uh, any room f any more room for ore? 20 and 20. What are you working on? Iron. I'll let this smelt one more cycle, and then I can drop all the rest in there. Because if I put the if I put the iron in here, it won't take the lithium. There we go. So iron and lithium. There. And once these are done, I will re-enable the copper and the tin and uh, let those smelt for a while because we're going to need a ton of that material uh, going forward to get research and, and uh, generators and all the good stuff online. We're going to need a ton of copper and tin. So I've got some smelting to do and uh, just some wandering around, making sure I've got everything scanned. And then we'll come back once we have enough stuff ready to go and uh, start start the subterranean mine and everything. Um, we're going to want, you know, to move the copper and the tin that we've got up here, move them down below where we have plenty of that stuff to, to mine. And we don't have to worry about very much on the surface. And then I can patch up this little hole that I made over here. So there's like this never happened. And so the only holes that I'll have on the surface are my defensive areas and my cargo li or my lift. I keep calling this a cargo lift, but anyway, that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.